What's good, y'all? It's Cameron in the video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new. Let's get it, man. We on Angel Time and as usual. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Don't be stingy with it. It's Black History Month, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and like it up. If you don't hit the like button, you're racist. So anyway, let's hop right into the video, man. This is what every woman desires, bro. You got to realize this, man. Check this out. Dudes are always looking for ways to attract women more. And they always trying to finagle their way into it. Like, oh, what can I do with my hair? What can I do with my face? Or oh, maybe if I switch up my earrings, maybe maybe if I switch up my swag real quick, bro. I'm here to tell you right now, firsthand, bro, none of that works. None of that is going to get you the girl that you want, that you desire. Because none of it really matters, bro. And the reason why none of it really matters is because... You know, the way that you dress obviously is important. You know what I mean? The way that you look is important. But ultimately, what a woman wants out of every single man is dominance. That is what every woman is looking for. Dominance. And the reason why they're looking for dominance is because dominance is the sign of a masculine man. Right. And when I say dominance, I'm talking about in every single area, bro. Every area. Check this out, bro. Women want the top dog they want the guy that they want the best option available bro so with that being said if you are not a dominant guy then how can you be the best option available because to dominate means to be the top dog in certain in, in a certain area if you are not dominant in every aspect of your life in some way shape or form that means that you don't even believe that you the top dog in this certain area so if you don't believe it then how is she gonna believe it bro how is she going to believe that you you really him when you don't even believe you him, bro? Ask yourself that question. See, that's why dominance is so important. See, understand this, man. The Lord put men and women on this earth for a reason. Okay? He put women here for men. He put men here for women, bro. We here for each other, bro. That's why there's rules to this stuff. That's not, that's why we not just running around, not knowing where, where, where you think the man being a man and a woman being a woman comes from. It comes right from the Bible, dude. Check this out, bro. A woman innately wants the man to lead her, bro. That's why biologically on a, on the most basic scale, when it comes to attraction, a woman is looking for a man that is tall, strong, good looking. You want to know why? Because those are good genes to continue her offspring, bro. Understand that. She's also looking for a guy that's generally masculine in the way that he acts. You want to know why? Because those are also good traits to pass down. And not only that, but that's a good trait for a husband. And you have to understand that, bro. Check this out, bro. If you are not dominant as a man, then how is a woman ever going to feel safe under the same roof as you? Y'all both sleeping in the house one day, right? And you, you, you this weak dude. You the, you the white knight dude, right? You the, you the white knight. Oh, damn. Uh, I don't believe in, in women uh, and, and my wife's uh, submitting to me. You know, it's all equal. Uh, imagine you one of them dudes. And it's nighttime. Y'all both sleeping. Somebody, Boom. Knock your door open, bro. And he start rummaging through the house. You got to get up and do the work, bro. Ain't no 50-50 then. Imagine you looking at your wife and be like, well, can you go? I'm feeling tired. Can you go? She going to look at you crazy. And she's going to lose respect for you. Why? Because you, cause you're not really being a man. See, that's what it's all about, bro. Understand that we have roles, bro. We have roles. Everyone wants to talk about, you know, ain't, ain't no roles. Roles are too traditional. Roles are old. People don't do that no more. But, but but we have to have roles. Because if we don't have roles, then everything is just a free-for-all. And a woman is expecting you to play your role, even though she's telling you otherwise. And part of your role is to be dominant in every area, every aspect. Every aspect of the relationship, you have to be dominant. You have to lead. I don't care if it's where you're looking to go eat food. You better lead. I don't care if it's a regular conversation. You better lead that conversation. I don't care what it is. You have to dominate. You have to be the top dog in your relationship. You have to. And, and, and the thing is, thing is, in order to dominate, you have to be strong. You have to be confident. Because domination is not for the weak. It's not something that a weak dude can do. 
How can a weak dude be dominant? He, 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 he can't. You have to be confident. You have to be strong physically. You have to be strong up here. You got to be strong. Your soul got to be strong. Otherwise, you can't dominate, bro, because you're too weak. You got too many insecurities. That's what happens when you lack something. When you lack strength in an area, that's where insecurities arise. You can't have none of that, bro. And I understand that not everyone is perfect. Not everyone is perfect. Everyone is going to have mistakes. But that's just it right there. The difference between the masculine man is that the masculine man understands where he falls short at and works on it. The regular feminine average dude, he's just going to... Oh, yeah, it is what it is. I don't care. I don't, you know, I don't, we'll just go 50 minutes. Oh, it is what it is. The strong man prays on it and works at it. The weak man sits on the couch and hopes and dreams and wishes and says, What if? If only. You can't be that no more, bro. You want the girl that you want, bro? She is looking for you to be him. She is looking for the dominant guy. She is looking for the guy that's going to work on himself to the point where he no longer needs her. That is what a woman is looking for. And check this out, bro. Check this out, bro. The, the white knights is always going to be telling you the opposite, bro. They always going to tell you, oh, well, there's no reason for a woman to submit to you. There's no reason. They always going to tell you that, bro. Because cause they feel like it's always oh, too harsh. Oh, you know, that's not how it should be. Yada, yada, yada. Them the same dudes that get cheated on. You want to be one of them dudes that get cheated on? You want to be one of them dudes that get cheated on, bro? I don't. I, I, I don't want to be in my relationship having my girl be the leader of the relationship. But the crazy part is that's how a lot of y'all is, 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 is on the path to being. Not telling you. I'm not. I don't know what. I don't know where you been. I don't know what relationships you be in, but... The average dude gets dominated in a relationship. You want to know why? Because everything that you do is for her. You're waiting on her to text you back every single day. How's she more busy than you? You're supposed to be the man. You're supposed to have a job. You're supposed to dominate financially. How are you supposed, how she, how, how, how are you going to dominate financially when all you doing is playing Call of Duty on PlayStation 5 right now? Grinding for camos. You sitting behind your desk playing PC, bro. You building a PC. She out doing busy work. That's why she can't respond to you. It, why? Why? Well, tell her she ain't just be back. She didn't text you back because she's too busy, bro. Too busy losing respect for you, dog. That's just how it is. And as a man, if you're not working, bro, if you're not busy, that means that she thinks of you as a nobody. How can you take care of her financially and you ain't doing nothing, bro? I mean, it's on you, bro. Really, for real. It's on you. She's looking for you to dominate in every area. Financially, physically, mentally, spiritually. She's looking for you to dominate spiritually. She's looking for you to lead. As a man, bro, if you're not dominating spiritually, that means that your woman is the, is the spiritual leader of your house. For real. So you mean to tell me that as a man, you're not leading the prayer at the dinner table, my boy? That way, look, I grew up in a traditional household. Man, the man always prays. You letting your girl pray for you, bro? You letting the girl pray over the food? You supposed to lead, bro. I mean, now, as long as the food get blessed, then it is what it is, bro. But come on, bro. I would never let that slide, personally. Personally. Couldn't be me, my boy. Point is that you got to dominate, man, in every single area. That is what a woman is looking for. That's how you keep her interest. You don't keep her interest by trying to play to her likes. That's how you that's that's how you lose a girl when you try to do everything for let me let me try to impress her. Let me try and do this. Let me try and do that. Bro. That's how you lose a woman. That's how she lose interest in you. That's how she lose respect for you. You want to have a long lasting healthy relationship? Lead. Lead. Dominate. That is what she's looking for. Stop doing this, this, this BS, bro. Stop. And in order to dominate, you got to get yourself. You have to dominate up here, bro. You have to dominate your bad habits before you can dominate a woman. You have to lead yourself before you can lead a woman, bro. And once you do this, bro, I promise you things are going to go way up, bro. Way up. Simple as that, dog.
But the choice is yours. Ultimately, you have a choice at all times. You can either be the guy that dominates or the guy that gets dominated, bro. And the guy that gets dominated, you're going to get cheated on and all this other stuff. You're going to get played. You're going to have all these problems with women. you always going to constantly have problems with women. Why is she not sending me back? Why is she not getting left on red? Why, why, why is she doing this to me? Why is she doing that to me? The guy that finally gets it don't have these problems no more. He doesn't have these problems anymore because he's already figured it out. And if a girl does leave the guy that 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 dominates on red, when he, when, when, when he gets left on red, it is what it is, bro. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing, bro. It's a woman. I'll go find another one that mess with me then. All right, whatever. But y'all be crying. My girlfriend don't respect me. That's you. Y'all got to start figuring it out, man. It's real simple. It's real easy, bro. Dominance is what every woman is looking for in every area, dog. In every area. Name an area. Pick an area, bro. She wants you to dominate. She wants you to be the leader. She wants you to be the man. She wants to submit to you. Women are looking to submit to a man. But I understand why you're not doing it, though. I understand the reason you're not doing it is because she's telling you. Women, see, nowadays, women are not going to tell you the truth. Women will tell you, oh, I want to go 50-50. I don't believe in submitting to a man. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, 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 look, man. It's in the Bible, my boy. It's in the Bible. It say, wives, submit to your husbands. In other words, if you if you want to be in a relationship with me, you're going to have to submit to me because I'm a good man. I'm going to stand on my word. I'm about my morals. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here in these streets. I'm not toxic. I'm not future. You know what I'm saying? I'm, but I'm about my business, though. So I'm going to need you to submit. That's what it is. No, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Nah, eating them hot Cheetos, baby. Nah, I wanna do that. Bro. They telling you the wrong things. They're telling you the opposite things. And you're taking it as truth on face value. And they're only telling you that so that they can run all over you because it's fun for them to get attention. Realize this, bro. It's fun for them to get attention, dog. You gotta break out of that matrix, bro. You gotta break out of that cycle, bro. Because once you do, you'll start to realize, oh, so it was cap. And you know, the funniest part, though, the funniest part is this. Once you realize that it's cap and that all these girls are looking for a man that's going to be the dominant role so that they can be the submissive one, bro. Once you figure that out, you'll start to realize that the ones that's on cap, bro, from the jump, bro, nine times out of ten, they ain't even worth it. They're not even worth leading. They ain't even worth leading, bro. Because their submission means very little because they're not loyal people. They're not loyal people by nature. Or not by nature, but by choice. They want to be promiscuous. That's why they that's why they pretended as it they that's why they capped and said, I don't want to submit to a man. So that they can continue to feel good about them being HOEs. But what we know about that is that they're not relationship material. So even when they do find a good man, they still gonna find a way to mess it up. They're gonna submit to him for a little bit and they still find a way to mess it up. The girls that get it though. They get the long-lasting relationships. Those are the ones that get wiped up. Yeah, those end up being the moms. The good ones, at least. And I mean, even that is becoming rarer and rarer. You got the divorce rate going crazy, bro. Some women get it, some don't. But as a man, all you can do is dominate in every area. That means in every aspect. When you go to the gym, go outlift the biggest. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back because I don't want y'all out there ego lifting. But go outlift yourself. Go PR or something, bro. Go hard in the gym. Every time you go to the gym, go hard, bro. Every time you go to work. Yeah, I don't care if you're working at Wiener Schnitzel. Go crazy, bro. Go get your bread. Go get that chicken. If you're playing sports, bro, go be the best one on the field. Dominate in every aspect. Women love that. You think they don't see that? They don't do, you playing high school, college football, you think they don't see your number? They, they, you think they don't see you running on that field, bro? Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. They love it, bro. They love the best. They want the best. They want the top dog, bro. They don't want the dude on the bench. So don't be the dude on the bench. Be the dude that's the star of the game. Who gets the game ball at the end? I right, love y'all. God bless. Mighty your peace.